I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> All right, man. We got a haul like we've never hauled before. This is right. This right here means something. Enjoying my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't ever seen. And if you read by the title, you know what time it is. It's time to go ahead and shift gears with some more Initial D reaction. Now, the last time we left off, we saw an epic conclusion to their race revolving around my man Takumi and Kisuke. Uh, Kisuke, for the most part, he kept a lead over Takumi because, for one, he has the newer car, you know, that has more under the hood. But, you know, like I said in the last reaction, it's not all about the hardware, it's how you use it. And Takumi showed him exactly that. You know, he gave him a tough lesson on how to utilize the hardware. And not only that, but your environment as well. Because my boy Takumi, he had to do a little improvising in order to get ahead of Kisuke. And he did that by way of utilizing the drainage ditch on the road to keep momentum going while utilizing that to actually swerve his car around. So yeah, uh, once Kisuke backed off on the pedal and decided to kind of, you know, slow it down to hit that curve and do that drift, that's when it was a wrap for him. And he was wondering how he was able to do that. You know, like Kisuke was like, I kept hearing this screeching sound. And that's when his brother Ryosuke was able to uh, deduce what it was, you know, with Takumi using that drainage ditch. So that was awesome to see, man. Meanwhile, you know, Takumi, he gets a chance to go on the date with the girl, uh, if I'm not mistaken, her name is Mogi or something like that. I always forget the side characters' names, but yeah, he gets to go out on a date with her, and he's really feeling the vibe. You know, she's letting him know that, for the most part, anytime she's in a car, especially a fast one, she always gets sick. But with him, she never feels nauseous at all while she's riding with him. And um, I also like the revelation that Takumi is starting to have because usually he is a very nonchalant very straightforward and kind of bland with his personality you know he doesn't really like a lot of things and he definitely don't like driving but he mentions that he felt something when he was driving against Kies uh, Kisuke uh, Kisuke <laughs> yeah he, he felt something when he was driving against Kisuke man so yeah it's nice to see the progression of this character and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, the animation improve too like I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far but it's gonna be a treat to see how much farther the animation team takes it, you know, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna do as the series progresses and we get more seasons. Uh, on the flip side of things, we see uh, Ryosuke actually go up against somebody, which is the uh, the Night Kids leader, uh, Takeshi, if I'm not mistaken, and he is riding in a Nissan R32, which is a very fast car. I think this is one of the first four-wheel drive cars we see up in this, because for the most part, we've been getting a lot of rear-wheel drive cars and front-wheel drive cars, but this is a full-wheel, all-wheel drive uh, vehicle. And this guy, he has a major chip on his shoulder because, you know, like he wants to prove himself because the last time he got stumped, he was up in a S13 going against an R32. So what does he do? He go ahead and he go get a, a Nissan R32 for himself, man. And we see him put that to the test against my man Ryosuke in like a little competition. And he also does it against these two guys that are just driving in a fast car and he smokes the hell out of them. So I can't wait to see how it's gonna be once he encounters Takumi and we get a chance to see what Takumi is really made of. But anyways, guys, I wanna go ahead and jump into this next episode, which is gonna be episode seven titled, a racer's pride. So let's see what we're talking about, man. Let's get it. Oh my god, this nigga. What are we talking about? They're all pink on the inside. <laughs> I'll be quick. 
Uh oh. That's enough, man. Is the Kumi gonna have to slap a bitch? No. Hey. Bitch, I will Dempsey roll the shit out of your ass. What has gotten into my boy? About to get your ass whooped while wearing booty shorts. Was it a dream? Oh wow. Well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this man is still in a coma. Web paper, so we serving him child support? Because he's a delivery boy specialist, and I know his dad personally. Nothing. Right. <laughs> Profound sadness. <laughs> right, man. I need to stop underestimating my boy. He gonna have his day one day, though. Oh, shit. Night, kids. Tread carefully. Oh wow, y'all already snitching, huh? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my arrogant mouth? Speed the stars. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eight six duo. Who told you that shit? Ten o'clock Saturday night. Swiggity swooty. I'm coming after that booty. Hey. Yeah, you've done it. You've actually volunteered this man against his will. Nope. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> oh my god, the expressions, bro. <laughs> Nani? Right. Hey, my boy Bucky Billy. Don't you think you need to go through his dad first? That's going to make the final decision right there. Like, All right, guys, let's take a pause for the cause. So, yeah, man, it looks like his friend at Itsuki 
really got him in a world of trouble right now. But I ain't sweating it. I, oh, I definitely know Takumi ain't sweating it either because Takumi, even though he doesn't like driving and racing just yet, he hasn't really just tapped into that full enjoyment of the thrill of uh, racing on these roads. He's going to get there, but for the time being, he really doesn't have any incentive to want to race other than the fact of going on a date with his girlfriend, which we kind of see that he's developing strong feelings for right out of the gate. You know, like Mogi got his heart already because we see him in this moment where this guy is talking about her in a locker room, talking about potentially hitting that. And Takumi really springs into action because he's feeling some type of way about it, man. But it seemed like there was just a dream or maybe there was a flashback, you know. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, man, uh, <laughs> Itsuki, he's really got this dude volunteering in a race once again that he didn't want to originally do. And that was kind of the case with, um, you know, my man... What's his uh, friend's name? Ikatani as well, because Ikatani wanted somebody to join the race, and he went to uh, Bunta, uh, Takumi's father, in order to do that. You know, so um, it, it doesn't seem like Takumi gets a say so in when these races happen and when he volunteers, you know, involuntarily. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm interested in seeing how this is going to play out. I'm pretty sure they're going to do something. Maybe his dad is going to call Harrison once again to want to jump into 8.6 as long as there is a full tank of gas waiting for him. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's the case, but we'll see, man. Um, let's go ahead and jump back into this. I am interested. Here we go. <laughs> so it's like that, huh? What about a Rory? Think you can handle Ferraris? Hey, <laughs> Oh wow, so you're gonna have to recalibrate some stuff. Who is that? Is that one of the Oh wow, Kisuke, what you want, bro? You still eating this ass? Cause you was all up my tailpipe, nigga. Probably still got smoke coming out of your nose after I've just blazed your ass. Right? I was just going Harrison to the shit. I don't care. <laughs> Exactly. Well, you should be trying to recover from these this L I gave you. <laughs> this guy is either a master class troll or he really doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just a delivery boy. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like you love racing. You're so in love with it, you want to fuck your car. <laughs> I can't even look at you right now. Get your bland face ass. Catch you around here again. T 
Tea. <laughs> like, what's his problem? Yeah, he's an idiot. What are you going to do? Use reverse psychology against him? <laughs> he got him. He got him. He took the baits. I knew he was going to do this shit. <laughs> yeah, so what are you going to do? Are you going to try to test this metal? Just go ahead and leave it there. <laughs> you gotta admire this boss for being so clever. Damn. Alright, cool. <laughs> right, man had to keep his composure up, man, try to put on face like yeah. Wow. Right? Dad, I already got the car, so what are you going to do now? You should have did that from the start, you asshat. I wonder if Buta is going to actually show up with mean, this shit. Maybe he just won't roll the window down. Yeah, you're not catching his ass. Who said it was your car? Alright guys, so that right there was episode 7, Pride of a Racer. Yeah, so the, it's pretty self-explanatory, the title of this episode. Pride is on the line, you know, everybody has pride. We saw that with Kisuke, I'm pretty sure his brother has pride. This guy, Taku, uh, Takeshi, he definitely has it. And it seems like Takumi is understanding what Racer's Pride is. Because after Kisuke had to read him the riot act and tell him to get out of his fucking way, you know, when it comes to, you know, achieving greater things and taking on these obstacles, 
Uh, Takumi, for the most part, he was still nonchalant, but now he's starting to realize that, yeah, he does have that racer's pride embedded in him. It just It's just going to take a while for that to come out because he's... Um, like, whenever you tell him to do something, he's going to do the opposite. He's very much an anti-authorian, and he doesn't like to take orders from anyone, you know? But when you tell him not to do something, he's going to be the same way. And I love that the boss actually utilized that to his advantage, you know? I think that's largely thanks, in part, to Itsuki, too, because after he heard Itsuki say how much Takeshi doesn't like to do, or Takumi doesn't like to do what he's told, the boss just took that weakness, and he was like, let me go ahead and pick at it. Let me be a cerebral assassin and perform this reverse psychology on Takumi just so I can actually get him to race. So yeah, it's nice to see how they get this guy to do things. Like, even though he's not interested in the most part, it seems like he's gonna eventually become interested. He's gonna start taking these challenges and he's probably gonna start challenging people himself. Like, I know it seems far out of, out of the wheelhouse for him to do that, but I think he is. Now we just gotta see when Boots is gonna come home, if he's gonna be seen on the course doing some drifts, what's going on with him. Hopefully, my man Takumi is able to get the 8-6 back so he can actually race against this Night Kid leader. Anyways, I will rate this episode with a solid A. It was fun. I always like seeing them make these goofy expressions and stuff. It's just funny, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, which is going to be episode 8 titled Time's Almost Up. So, looks like it's going to be a race against the clock, man. Hopefully, my boy makes it there on time, though. So, let's see what he do. Here we go. Yeah, Itsuki, it's all your fault, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd smoke him. Just like I smoked this last pack of Newports. Just like I smoked your mom before she left us. <laughs> Arthur mode. Call me a coward. Who is this? Uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Okay, all of them showed up. Gotta have the squad with you. What the fuck? Oh yeah, the four-wheel drive. I can't understand these acronyms, so it's kind of... But we got curves, bro. This is a mountain. Exactly. We rolling with the Drift King right now. He just doesn't realize he's the Drift King. <laughs> Super machine. I passed out. I even shit myself. His pops. Oh. Well, you know, he sucks, though. I mean, he's all right. <laughs> they got the bitches. And these girls are dating these guys and they're still fangirling. Right? I love this funky beat. So 90s. It's like a late night talk show beat. Oh, 
八六でも高橋兄弟にもない。それは俺、このバイトキッズの中田と高橋だって。I ain't not Zara, you gotta calm it down, bro. You just seem overzealous right now. How are you going to do that? <laughs> Bro, he's out there too. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> oh, wow. Nope, not a clue. <laughs> I was planning to go see uh, Avengers Endgame after this race. Oh, I hear something. What is that? Is he? Wow, so there's a certain algorithm to this shit. Alright guys, let's take a quick pause for the cause. So yeah, man, um... Right now, it's a race against the clock because Boonta is doing whatever. Like, I don't know if he's at Magic City. He hitting on some strippers. Maybe he trying to bring a Takumi back a stepmom. I don't know what it is, but this dad, he's been taking his precious time. But now it seems like he is going to be making it at the last minute just to kind of, uh, you know, kind of get that um, dramatic entrance. You know what I'm saying? Which Takumi always finds a way of doing, whether it's him coming in at the last second of his own volition or him actually doing that because his dad is taking his precious time coming home. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice to kind of get those stakes increased every now and then, you know, just have it to where you don't know if a character is going to make it to this race or not, you know, have their credentials essentially ruined because they didn't stay true to their word. You know, even though it wasn't Takumi, it was fucking Itsuki who actually did this shit in the first place. Um... Kind of felt bad for him though. Like I felt really bad for my man Itsuki because he was really just trying to, you know, look cool because he feels like the odd man out. Like everybody has skills at racing and stuff like that. And he wanted to have something. You know, I understand being the third wheel sometimes, man. So I, I feel like they, you know, I feel like he's being a little too hard on himself. I feel like he really feels that remorse for getting a... Uh, Takumi in this situation, but now Takumi, you know, I feel like it's going to work to his advantage, like I said, because he seems like he's really enjoying racing, and um, now we get a chance to see this happen, like, like I can't wait to see it, but it, it seems like we're going to have to wait until the next episode to see the full race, because by the time you get there, it's going to probably be the end, man, so that sucks, but um, let's see what Bunta has to say when he gets out of the car, is he going to even allow Takumi to participate in this race? That's anyone's guess, but... Um, I got a feeling he will because he seems like a lenient dad that tries to put on like he cares about what his son does, but I, I feel like he's gonna let Takumi race. Uh let's let's find out, man. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? 
わかりますよ。絶対間違いない。引っ張りと俺が負けるって面と向かって断言したけどな。<笑> you would. We should get that chip off your shoulder, man. You've been mad since you lost against the R32. Whatever, you haven't changed. Hey, I'll be lucky if you show up at all. All right, is he in the car? Yeah. So even he's noticing this. It's like one minute he doesn't give a damn, the next minute he's growing her in different places and he's starting to think about girls and racing. <laughs> about face. Decisions, decisions, bro. Them penny loafers gonna be soulless if you keep this up. I ain't get your ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Saved by the bell, man. <laughs> right, you better get your ass out the road. That's right. <laughs> you my nigga. I swear I love you, bro. Come here. I love you, bro. Oh, you just don't know, man. What's the, what's the weak point?
別に何も言ってねえけど、弱点はあるからな。GTR とはいえ。What is it? サンニーの弱点は、それはズバリ。The body weight? Oh wow. Yeah, so that means all that weight can actually be used against him, especially if he's going super fast. Mm. Damn. I mean, isn't that always the case, though? Right, what the fuck, bruh? Love it. Love it, love it, love it, bro. All right, guys. So that was episode eight titled Times Almost Up. It was a close one, but we managed to make it at the last second. And it was nice to see my man、um, Itsuki actually get cheered up by that. You know, he was very teary eyed, you know, seeing his boy come in at the last minute when he was about to do that walk of shame and tell everybody that he apologized for actually lying like that. Because this nigga, he always lying about shit just to give himself some brownie points. He was going to die a virgin. But. My boy Takumi showed up so he can live on and hope he gets a girl. But,、um, yeah, man.、Uh, so, Bunta, he said he's done some stuff like some modifications or changed the settings up up in the 8 6. So, I'm interested in seeing how that's going to play out because it seems like the Night Kid leader, he already has something going against him, which is the actual body of the car itself and that understeering.、Um, There's a chance that he's going to be battling the car because the car, it seems like, yeah, it has the speed, but if he can't control the body of the car from doing these things and kind of like getting off course, he could potentially go off the road. So I don't really think that Takumi's going to have that big of an issue dealing with this dude. You know, I feel like he's going to, there's probably going to be more distance between them compared to how it was with、uh, Takumi and、um, Kisuke, but. Yeah, this dude right here, it seems like he's going to be doing a lot better in terms of、uh, racing because he has the more powerful car. Four wheel drive, it's a lot better than just two wheels from the front or the back. You can't beat a four wheel drive vehicle, man. And this guy, he already has an upper hand. You know, that R32 is a mother.、Um, so I can't wait to see. How this is gonna play out. Like I say, I knew we weren't gonna actually see the race because, you know, we had to get there, and that was gonna take place at the end of the episode where Takumi makes his dramatic grand entrance as he always does.、Um, I don't know what else to add to this, you know, like the, the stakes continue to be raised, as I、uh, mentioned earlier, and the characters are becoming more and more interesting, you know, like everybody has their own philosophies when it comes to the art of street racing and Takumi is definitely developing his, you know, he he's even said it himself, hey, what are you talking about? It's up to a racer to rise to the challenge that's been given to them, right? I like that he actually said that because it shows that he's actually becoming an, a racer himself, but Anyways, if I were to rate this one, I would give it a A, plus, slightly higher than the last episode. Like I say, there's not much that happened other than the fact that we were just waiting and just having dialogue. It's always, ha- it's always good to have those、um, low moments where we just hear the characters talk and get a feel for what they're thinking and pick their brains apart. So, yeah, man. 
But anyways, it's going to do it for us today, guys. Um, if there's anything that I may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below for your boy without spoiling me on things to come. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We intended reactions. I'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Initial D. Peace.